has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Hall of Famer, Damn. ladies and gentlemen, Randy Couture is in the neighborhood. Ooh. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yes, brother. man. It is Thank a pleasure you. to see you in here, man. Pleasure to be here. Man, let me tell you now, we, we've had a chance to bear witness to a lot of your great fights, bro. And just having you in the neighborhood, I feel so well protected right now. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, for real, bro. Nothing's dangerous <laughs> for me. Nothing's Help. happening for me. Nobody's out to get me. But just, I feel so confident right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. but now, let me ask you this. Now, now we're going to talk about Bellator and everything. But mm-hmm. if somebody were to break into your house tonight and you came downstairs, you wouldn't even have to bring a firearm. You could just come downstairs and just pretty much... You destroyed just, a person. That's a situation you just never know what they're packing. Ah, ah. You don't want to bring a knife to a gunfight. That is true. I love how humble you guys yeah. are. I'm going <laughs> to tell you, if I had all that skill that you had, I'll be a mess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Randy Couture, uh, how long have you been into like wrestling martial arts? Like I started wrestling at 10 years old. Wow. Uh, I didn't start fighting until I was 34. Really? Mm. What makes a 34-year-old wow. man say, I'm going to start to compete? I saw the sport and... I just was immediately intrigued by it. I've and, seen the sport. Looked, I'm intrigued, but I don't want to like, fight. It looked like fun. <laughs> really? It looked like fun. fun. Yeah. Saw the application of years and years and years of wrestling. Right. Uh, in a sport where I could be a professional athlete, which is a big deal in our society. So That's crazy. Have you ever been, what like, hurt, hurt, where you're like, okay, because we'll watch a fight. And then it's like, okay, you know, that was it, such, 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 and then it's over. Then the next day. You guys, now I know boxers, and I've seen them get their eyes sewed up, sure, and it's like yeah, the next sure. day is like, what What has really, does it hurt the next day after <laughs> I mean, a fight like that? I mean, obviously it depends on the fight. There have right. been some fights where, yeah, you were significantly damaged. I, I, I fractured the orbit oh. in, in a fight, and that took a while to and heal. And that's right, and you say about affected like, my vision. And the orbit is in see because yeah. I wouldn't even know yeah, where the orbit was if yeah. you didn't point it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so when a doctor elbow, say you, oh my God. And, uh, and just fractured the bone here that separates your sinuses from your from your oh. it, but you continue cavity. to fight as oh, far I'm was, talking uh, about career wise oh, yeah, career wise yeah. yes. you elbow me in the that eyes was and a, I'm the gonna first retire and only time that that you know I thought about it for a second yeah I'm like man you start messing with your vision and, right and all that it took about six months to recover from that wow. wow and uh and that was the only time my mom ever called me up and said hey Oh. Maybe uh, hey, you want to think about doing something. Do else. you remember the fighter that did it to you? Yeah, it was it was a Rico Rodriguez fight. Good Lord. heavyweight championship. Now, fight. do do you Damn. after that? Like, say for instance, like month three, when you still having problems with your vision. Mm. At any point, do you think like, man, I'm going to go find his house and knock on his door and throw some <laughs> no. shit in his face? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was it was a legal blow. It was just one of those things. One, of, you know, just it's you never just want to grab any of your other MMA partners and go to <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. Uh, that show everybody up. has camps, right? And teams, like yeah, do a camp brawl or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> not not at all. Crazy nah. man. Now we got to talk about Bellator, man. Yeah, now man. we we've mm-hmm. seen some of your just the, the great action with UFC. Now with Bellator, Bellator is like. That's just some of the greatest fights are starting to happen over there as well. Mm-hmm. Like, like the brand has mm-hmm. really got a lot of great fighters yeah. now. And I'm talking about some that were inherited, some that we knew, and then also a lot of up and coming future stars. Yep, absolutely. What attracted Randy Couture, who we just know as a franchise of his own, to say, okay, you know what? I, I believe in Bellator. Well, a couple things. Uh, I got to know Scott Coker when he yeah. was running Strike Force. What up, Scott? That's and what I, I was I was cornering and coaching Gina Carano at the time, mm-hmm. who was kind of the first lady of MMA back then. Bring her to fight night day, but got, go ahead. Mm, no, <laughs> she's gonna be me. Yeah. I love her. I, don't know uh, to I would do love that. to see that and fight. Just, nope. just got to know him through that experience, and then my son Ryan started fighting for Strike Force. Good lord! Obviously, Strike Force was bought out by Zufa in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Kind of absorbed Scott. Scott was was with them for a little while when he became a free again out of his contract with the UFC. He, he was hired to be the president of uh, Bellator. Mm. And um, obviously I have several other fighters that fight for Bellator, but then my son ended up fighting for Bellator as well. Bellator obviously was Spike TV, you know, kind of the first ones that had the stones to put the sport on television. Mm, yeah. Uh, obviously own Bellator now and, and have created their own brand of MMA. How active are you right now? They pick a lot of us up, you know, Hoist Gracie, mm-hmm. Tito Ortiz, yes, um, Sakuraba. There's a, a lot of kind of the pioneers, the the earlier guys that are 
not only representing them as brand ambassadors for specific events, but Tito's actually fighting for them. Right, so, right, right. Will you um, get will you get down again? No, I'm oh. I'm happily retired. But retired retire for five years. I heard nothing calls like you back, like just being around it, the you know the smell of it or I did that once. Would I you fight me if you came back months. out? I came back out to fight Tim <laughs> Sylvia. Would I fight you? I didn't say that. Oh, we can do that. Move some, move right some furniture. We can get that done. No, nah, the all this furniture is stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's not in the room. This is all no. welded down, bro. Yeah, we, we definitely to, can't but... move this furniture. Mm-hmm. I would like to fight you, but yeah. 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 actually, yeah. in my radio contract, I can't beat up any of my guests. <laughs> I can't beat them mm-hmm. up. Uh, sorry about that. That's no fun. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's iHeart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, big, knocked out Randy Couture. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? Not a good look. It's, it's yeah, not a great not a look. Life. Then Bellator is going to say, oh, you know, do we do we sign big again? Because, uh, you know, Bellator was coming after me at one point. Yeah, totally I was like, wanted. you know what? I, lo- I love this radio thing. You know what I'm saying? I love how all my bones are in place. <laughs> yeah, we need You know them. what I'm saying? I like the shape of my ear. We, You know, so I just kind of <laughs> stayed right here. Yeah. Speaking of ear, we got to come back, yes. man. Thank now. you. I actually appreciate that you have these kind of headphones. That they cover them up? fit over my ears. Yeah, man. <laughs> but it's always it. a problem. Now, there's a thing called cauliflower ear. Yes. Um, I day you looked at Randy's ears. Yes. And you were asking about cauliflower. Yeah, well, I was just asking, like, does it hurt? Like, Now, it's- for those who don't know, it's when you see a fighter and their ears, they look swollen or it almost look closed up. It takes many yeah, years different. for us to many get that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Many years for us to get it. You know you what I'm saying? Like, it. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, don't worry about me. Okay. You know, that's, why, that's why I wear, that's why I wear, <laughs> wear, that's why I wear my headphones. I never noticed. Natalia, yeah. yeah, I wear, even when I'm not here, I wear my headphones. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Because then some people see the cauliflower and they want to challenge you. Yeah. And all that stuff. It's, like, it's, it's better for me to just stay where I am. <laughs> but yeah, so go ahead, Ide. I was just wondering, Randy, like, does, do you feel pain in them, like, consistently? Like, uh, what is that like? Well, when, when you first get it, it's it's very soft and, mm-hmm. and very, very tender. Did you pop it's, Did it's you pop basically it? basically a bruise. But Can the, you squeeze you, it? Uh, yeah, it's it's soft. soft. It's a bruise, but unlike a bruise on your leg or your arm, that separates the skin from the cartilage in your ear, and it's very hard for your body to reabsorb that fluid. Oh. Wow! Uh, so it. Um, Eventually, it coagulates and gets hard. Now it's like armor. I mean, you can feel can it. Can I touch it? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! It's so hard. wait, does it ever go away? Eventually, can you no, get, have it, doesn't it there go forever? Away. You can have a surgery and have them cleaned up. But I feel like I kind of like earned a, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You do. It's a bad God arm. gave me armor. I'm yeah. in, you know, I'm in the right sport. Wow. Now, now, how does one really get cauliflower? Is it from? Is it I from think. constant irritation and impact? So, yeah. is it headlocks or is it on the ground or? I got this from from a, a guy, well, well, geez, go all the way back to 1985, trying to make the All-Army Wrestling Team when I was in the Army. And this oh. kid that I was wrestling for the spot on the team had a headlock. He kept trying to headlock me, and I turtled my neck, but his arm would hit me in the ear, and by the mm. end of the match, my ear was wow. swollen, up, swollen up. So that came from kind of Damn. one incident first? One match, yeah. And then, wow. you know, unfortunately... Or, or maybe fortunately, I don't, depending on how you look at it. I didn't have the time to sit out and kind of just let the ear mm-hmm. heal back up. Because it will, if you get it drained and packed properly, the skin will re-adhere to the cartilage. But I didn't have that luxury. I'm in the middle of camp right. trying to make the team. Don't want to go back to my unit. I want to go wrestle. Mm. Uh, so every time you get your heart rate up, it just pumps more fluid back wow. up in that, in that space. Uh, so I'd have it drained. I think I had this one drained nine times, wow. and I think I had this one drained seven times. And you can hear fine and everything. Yeah. Well, my deafness is selective. Oh, <laughs> who's so you, yeah, you can blame it on that, huh? <laughs> like, baby, you don't oh, know what cauliflower oh, is. Cauliflower. Are you a married man? <laughs> uh, I used to. Oh, okay, be. I have. I would say, man, give me some cauliflower right now. <laughs> I can't you know, hear you. This Sorry. is sometimes I tell my wife, we're like, baby, you, you know, and the, <laughs> the liquid drains into your ear canal. I can't. <laughs> I, can't I can't. I can't hear you. You said what? Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even know. I didn't catch that. Yeah, but but it's definitely earned. Do yeah. do other do other fighters want it? I've heard there there is a group uh, younger kids out there now that are trying to get cauliflower mm. ears. That's and crazy. Kind of hitting each other in the ears and doing oh, things man, to try and get them, and that's not the same thing. No. Right, right, right. In right, my right. opinion, no. yeah, get it the right yeah. way. Come on. The issue now, now right. is is the you know the ear doesn't bend. You know, it, oh, wow. it sticks out further than that's it used to. Crazy how he's grabbing it. It doesn't yeah, bend. Like it, it doesn't bend. So, like the first day of camp getting ready for a fight, the first thing that happens is somebody grabs you and, and the ear will rip in the back. Uh, and then, ouch. And then, you know, you shoot a double or you're drilling 
and you hit a t-shirt or whatever, it zips that skin right off the outside because it's thicker now. Oh my God. And so I ended up with a scab terrible. for the entire training camp, uh, you know, and, and yeah. tears in the back. Oh my goodness. Crazy. See, that would have yeah, made me retire. That looks doesn't so really, painful. Man, so what's the cauliflower culture? Yeah, your shirt. Oh, this is a, a brand of shirts that, uh, that, you know, that, they're playing on. I heard that you know, cauliflower culture. It's, it's what yeah. we're wearing. Man, for those guys of us in who combative sports, yeah. are, it's indigenous to our sports. Boxers, That's who we are. judo players, jujitsu players, mm-hmm. radio wrestlers. DJs. Yep, yeah, yeah. Radio, radio DJs. DJs. We're gonna, we're gonna include back. radio. Yeah, DJs. yeah. You know, <laughs> it's hard over here, man. Sometimes oh, I'm sitting like this, Randy, yeah. and other times I'm like this. Like these headphones are so tight. I think they're giving me cauliflower ears. Sometimes I gotta push them down, and then I do like, oh my god, man! The, people don't understand, bro. Brandy Couture, the pain and suffering that we go through. <laughs> Bellator One Hundred and Sixty taking place Friday, yes. August twenty sixth. Man, how exciting is this card, bro? Henderson it's a very, Patricio. very good card. Yeah, yeah man. Ben Benson Henderson coming down. I love it to one hundred and fifty five. He just tried it out at one hundred and seventy. It didn't go so well for him, so I think he's back down at his original. He got a lot class. of heart though, too. Uh, Hell yeah, oh, man! He's amazing, great athlete, uh, and. Patricio Pitbull coming up from 145 Ooh. to get a shot at 55. You know, his brother just lost the title to Michael Chandler, mm-hmm. one of the up-and-coming stars in Bellator. And uh, I think uh, Patricio wants a shot at, at some revenge. But he's got to get through Benson to get there. So, Do you know what uh, I love about this also, Randy, man, is that it's, it's, it's fights where it's a lot on the line. You know what I'm saying? Oh and when gosh, I say a lot yeah, on the bro, line, so it's, like, it's like – Almost a a win or go home, really situation that's going down. And I don't know if that makes cats fight harder, but it makes me as a spectator want to see it even more so. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because absolutely. because whatever waters under the you know under the bridge or whatever, it, like there's years there, and now you're on that end where it's like, man, I got to get these W's in as well. Mm-hmm. So sure. what will you do Friday? What will you do fight night? Well, first of all, we're doing a, a nice tailgate. Yes, sir. Oh, beforehand. Yeah. And you do like a meet and Me, greet. Me, gonna... Hoist Gracie, Tito's going to be there. Mike Chandler, the new champ oh. at is going to be there. So hopefully all the fans will come out and hang out with us, get an autograph, take a picture. And that's a meet and greet yeah. that's going down. That's at that's Friday Center, as well. Yeah. The yeah. 26th. So people get a chance to come out, say hello. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Meet and greet. Absolutely. Sign. Yep. Say what's happening. Choke hold. You going to choke hold? No. Okay. You probably can't <laughs> physically <laughs> put no, your hand on anyone. You got to be careful with Yeah, those. yeah. You, you probably don't want to physically put your hand on anyone. <laughs> that is true. I was just testing. I was just <laughs> seeing where your head is at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's also one thing I love about Bellator, that they that they have these fighters out there meeting the fans. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Signing autographs and stuff like that. You don't you don't see that from, from a lot of, especially, you know, especially Hall of Famers and stuff like that. Well, that's something I, I hope that yeah. never changes in our sport. I think the mm-hmm. fighter the fighters... Even the the very very best guys are very approachable and we're, we're real guys. We we live next door wherever and and uh, I hope that never changes. You don't see that in a lot of other professional sports. So now, will you will you sit down for Bellator the fights? I'll or do you kind of roam there. around? No, I'll be sitting down. Okay, because yeah, we want to sit with you. Yeah, that's yeah. where we want to go. Yeah, that's, <laughs> where, that's where we're kind of going <laughs> with this fun. question Let's here. get two seats next to Randy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Are you a middle guy or you want to be on the aisle? Like, how do? Because if it's going to be three <laughs> well, of us. Well, I like, I, I like to kind of be in the corral, which is the okay. kind of contained area right around the cage. Okay. Uh, so that's where we're... a little okay. separation. Okay. So that's uh, where we're Otherwise, I'll be up. The fighting. whole fight. Okay. Uh, and you're not going to jump off and try to fight and... that night, no, are you? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And, and you know they're going to put the camera on Randy most of the time. So we, yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah, so we'd so we be sitting there next to him like, hey, it's Big Boy and Randy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Louie's and there. And Louie's there too. Yeah, so I think just for the camera shot, you probably should sit in the middle. Yeah, that's true. And then I'll sit to you to your right and <laughs> Louie will sit left. to your left. left. And, you know, as it comes, we'll do the fake Oh, you know what I'm saying? Put our fist up. The fake Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, stupid. You know, because as fighters, you know how it is. We got to put our hand up. And everybody wants to take pictures with our hand up and everything, so so we'll do that. So uh, this be my pleasure, man. Thank you for the invite. I'll definitely sit next to you, definitely, man. We, now, is there anybody else that we got to sit with? That was, yeah, because it seems like you're not going to really give oh, us tickets. I, to sit anybody? Next to you. Any expendable buddies? Uh, I don't know if any of the expendable guys will be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've certainly been invite welcome. Them. But, yeah, uh, invite them, man. Tell, tell Sly come on out. You know, it, uh, yo, <laughs> yo, the big boy. Uh, uh. He don't even talk like that for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually guy. a huge fight fan. Yeah, he is, man. Boxing fan it's crazy how we look at Sylvester Stallone as a fighter. 
Yeah, man. Right. You know, like Rocky, Rocky, you've got us in our hands. Really like, I got a Rocky. boxing glove signed by Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> yeah, Ani yeah. thought that he was a boxer. Oh, yeah, like a real yeah. boxer. Real the statue boxer. was a real boxer. Yeah. Yeah. The girl that thought Rocky Balboa was a real person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like a real fighter. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was crazy. As you can see in my face, I was yeah. like, Yeah. <laughs> She's like, well, like, But there's a statue. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you got a thing, dude. Like, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky yeah. got a statue. Yeah. <laughs> Like, dude, and even with him, when you see him when they like when he had fights, like Sylvester Stallone, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, dude, Randy straight face like that's my buddy. Right. <laughs> He's like, I'm not He's like, you like it's guys funny, but I can't really laugh at it. Right. Randy, what do you got coming on in, in Hollywood? What are you working on? You working uh, on? Anything? I just finished a movie called The Treasure Hunter in May. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in post production now. Probably six months before we get to see that one. Um, you know, my character's still alive in Hawaii Five O. So oh, hopefully. Yeah, this season, we'll get to come back and, and play Mr. Duclair a couple more times. And uh, I'm sure sooner or later, they'll kill him off. Right. <laughs> yeah. where, 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 did the in, where did the interest or passion for acting like ever, like, where, where did it come? It, you know what? I, I've been a movie guy since yeah. I was a kid. My mom used to take me and my sisters to the Lynn Twin to the double feature and leave us for a few hours to, to watch the, the theater. I've always loved it. And not something I ever saw myself doing. Mm -hmm. Athletics opened that door. I guess it's 15 years ago now, Cradle to the Grave with uh, mm. Jet Li and DMX. Mm. Oh, and they yeah. were looking for real fighters for the cage fighting scene. Mm. And so me, Tito, and Chuck all got the nod oh, to go shoot. play a cage fighter in this movie. And it's kind of like getting to go to Oz and see behind the curtain mm -hmm. and That's what's right. really going on and how they make these things and the process. And I was immediately intrigued by it and interested in it. I went out and got an agent, started taking some acting classes and started getting more acting jobs after that gig. And, uh, At least you respected climbed, the craft when you got yeah. some classes, because some cats just jump in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody thinks it's easy, yeah. right? And and it, you know, it's a grind, and it's not easy. It's it's not an easy thing to do. So it's been fun. I feel like each time I get to go out and play another character and do another film, I learn more. I learn more about it. I get better at it. And uh, you know, obviously, the Expendables uh, certainly helped with notoriety and and opening some doors and in, in the industry as well. Do you miss competing? You know, I don't. Right. Uh, I feel like uh, I had to come to terms with letting go of it, and mm -hmm. that took a little while. But uh, once I got there, I think it was one of the, you know one of those rare, rational, smart right. decisions I Is made. Is there anything that you do miss? You know, there's some things they say. You know what I miss? I miss uh, the fights were an impetus for all of my buddies <laughs> from high school, college, the army to come, right? Hang out, and, and it was mm -hmm. like old home week for me, the week of the awesome. fights. They'd come to those workouts to see I mean, how I looked and what was going on. They'd come to the after fight party after the fight, mm -hmm. whether I won or lost. Those are my boys. Let me boys. tell you, man. You probably and that's what I miss. Is getting you probably a don't want to hear this, guys. but I got to tell you this: they weren't your friends. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> they weren't your friends Why, because now that you're not fighting, look, you don't, you can't even get them all in the Ooh. same place anymore. Uh, we still, no, we Randy, still please, still please, Randy, no, 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 don't try to talk out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Those weren't your friends, man. Nope. We're your friends. <laughs> they bro. just wanted to be in the limelight with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 nah, 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 forget it, man. See, you're still making excuses for it. You got to come to the realization. <laughs> Every time it was a fight, they say, oh, we got to fight. You, now, know what I'm saying? you know what? Now a lot of them come see my son fight, and that's now. That's the, just the same oh, thing. Over. I get freeloaders, to see them. you know those the same no, damn freeloaders. Yeah. Yeah. Same freeloaders we were trying to get off our back for, 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 for the last fifteen years. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Can like, we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, man, we got to fight. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 you know, man, they were never your friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your army buddies. I won't disrespect the military. Those are your guys. But the other cats from wrestling, ah, oh, nah. Mm. Nah, yeah. trust me. They're betting against you and everything. I had bets that they took <laughs> <laughs> against you. <laughs> Randy, do you still have a relationship with anyone from UFC? Uh, no. Wow. Really? No, nobody. What uh, about the direction? Or do do you still watch any UFC fights? Or if anybody I'm training with, right? Is it's fighting. fighting. That I'm tuning in. You know, obviously Misha trains with us. I was very excited mm -hmm. for for both the ups and the downs mm -hmm. and the way she handled all that and took all that in stride. Proud of her. Uh, you know, we've got guys like Brad Tavares, Gray Maynard, uh, a bunch of the guys. So you still got to kind of deal um, with UFC. So I don't directly. Right. Do you have a relationship than, with Dana still or? No. Right. He, he, he wrote me off mm. like, four years ago, I guess. I signed a deal with Spike TV. Oh, okay. Uh, right. To do scripted and unscripted television. Oh, In I his mind, it. that was me being, you know, going to the enemy or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He tried to villainize me and make me out to be the Ooh, villain. Oh, don't I know him. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and I haven't really seen him or spoke to him since then so. right if you guys and were banned him. from competition he didn't even wouldn't even allow me to 
to corner my son. So damn, uh, that's wrong. Which is yeah, kind of one step over the line in my mm. opinion. Yeah, damn. So Why if you, you were to walk up? out here and saw him at this restaurant over here. Would you put hands on them? The, the, no. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. I was going to talk you out. No, of no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not that the I'm issues are really his. I hear you. Uh, he, he he doesn't care for me. He wasn't I wasn't the guy he could control. We would mm. just sign it all over to him and let him do whatever he wanted. And I think for that reason, he's always kind of pushed away from me. And mm. and then when he could, put it to me if he had the chance. So I heard that. Uh, you know, I don't need that. Life's too short. Uh, mm. and, and to be honest, right now, I, I think they need me a lot more than than I need them. Ooh. They have image issues, and a lot of that stems from him and the way he treats people and wow. treats the fighters. And so, you know, it's it's really the issues are his, not mine. Randy Couture, thank you for yeah, coming man. into the neighborhood, man. Randy, get out of here. Absolutely. No, yeah. no. no, no. We got so many questions we keep asking <laughs> yeah, him. Dude. I, don't, I probably done said goodbye to this man like five times already. He keep turning around to his partner like, man, are we really going to leave him? Like, man, we done had an Uber circle around like four times already. <laughs> he said thank you like ten times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's been a pleasure. Thanks. I Randy, thank it. you. No, yeah. no, but thank you for coming yeah, in, man. man. It, it is really Thanks a pleasure coming. to sit with you, my brother. And like I said, I've, you owe me a lot of money. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've yeah. spent so a much. lot of money on your pay-per-views. No, but I had great I had great times, man. And I thank you for coming in and hanging thank out you. with us. Pleasure. Randy Couture in the neighborhood. Big boy. Big neighborhood. boy.